According to the National Cancer Institute, still now, scientists and doctors have not come across to any particular treatment for cancer. There are still a lot of tries and a lot of um, preventions that they can take, but there is still no particular treatment or medication that can solve it. I'm pretty much sure that all of you are, are aware of these two people. Um, they both were Muslims at one point and Nabil Qureshi uh, became a Christian later on. And these both people um, are not in this world right now and they passed away with a disease called cancer. And let's put some light on both of let's these. Let's see exactly what they said before they left the world. So the he after. Please, brothers and sisters, if I've done anything to hurt anyone, to forgive me. So let's see what Muslims say about cancer when it comes to Ali Bennett, who is a Muslim. And they say it's a gift. Cancer is a gift for Muslims. Well, this person says here that may he, he get genital for those. Well, they're giving him prayers. Um, or another see another Muslim you can see a bunch of them like strong prayers for him asking for miracles for him and then um, there's another guy here who says may he get um, Shifa uh, well that is great you know how Muslims are reacting one thing to make sure that Muslims will always judge you judge you for everything you can never find one Christian commenting on this person and cursing him for saying that this is a curse from Allah or he's a Muslim that's why this happened but I'm sure even Christians were praying for this guy and still do pray for him but what happens when a Muslim uh, or a person who's a Christian gets cancer how do Muslims react on it let's see what Nabil for says in his to last words and so as you consider my ministry I hope it leaves uh, a legacy of, of love, of peace, of truth, um, of caring for one another. That's my hope and my, my purpose behind this. And so if at any point I've said anything that seems to contravene that, I do apologize. And I hope that that's not the legacy that I leave behind. Um, so. Please also pray for my family. Uh, they have been taking such great care of me over the past few weeks, especially my father, but also my mother, my sister, and my wife. Um, I do hope that there will be people uh, who will pray for them should the worst happen to me. So please do consider them. So pretty much both of the, these people have apologized in the end and they have asked for forgiveness um, let's see uh, what Muslims have commented on Nabil Qureshi who's an ex-Muslim now see this guy he's saying very bad words I don't want to even read it and you see that this is saying that he is enjoying in hell right now just because he's a Christian right now and he left Islam let's see another comment here this one says subhanallah he's even lying when he's ill Wow, Muslims are so angry on this guy. They're so angry that they even um, made videos and made uh, judgmental videos that he's got cancer because Allah has cursed him with this cancer. You see how hateful comments it's for Nabil Qureshi, who's a ex-Muslim, and they've uh, just said it all the hateful comments all the hateful thoughts that they can say even on my channel so even on this comment you can see that they say Muhammad Mercy says yes Nabil's death was accursed by Allah there's another guy his name is uh, Azim Ashraf he commented on David's Wood channel he says Jesus finding cancer the new book released soon this guy also commented on my channel he says uh, seeking Jesus finding cancer so my question is if cancer is a curse why is uh, this curse also being given to Muslims
uh, why not only Christians and why Muslims are so judgmental about uh, diseases and they say that this is a curse from Allah why don't you see your own prophet and see let's see how he, uh, Muhammad the prophet of Islam uh, basically felt before he died uh, it says this is narrated Aisha the prophet in his ailment in which he died used to say oh Aisha I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khyber and at this time I feel as if my urda is being cut off at, with that poison so Muhammad was killed by a poison how painful that is let's see Aisha said I never saw anyone suffer more pain than the messenger of Allah so this is a Sahih Hadith and you can also see who knows this was a cancer and um, the pain is so agonizing that Aisha has just mentioned so this shows that Muhammad was in pain and how can you be so sure that this was not cancer so are you gonna say that Muhammad was also cursed by Allah because the reason Muslims hate Jews and Christians is because it is commanded to them by Allah and Muhammad these are a bunch of verses in the Quran there are many verses in the Quran which hate Jews and Christians but we'll just focus on one which is Quran 98 verse 6 it clearly says they are the worst creatures if you're a logical person you would ask yourself is this from God and you will get an answer that this is definitely not from God